Stains were the center of the Kenosha homicide trial. Prosecutors say Zachariah Anderson killed Rosalio Gutierrez, hit his body, and then destroyed the evidence. Fox 6's Aaron Maven live in Kenosha with the gruesome pictures attorneys focused on all day today. Aaron? Mary, those pictures were really something, but they show what prosecutors call the aftermath of a brutal and bloody attack. I just stepped out of the courtroom and the mother of Rosalio Gutierrez has taken the stand. She is painting a picture of who her son was and she is tearing up right in front of the jury. He was my life. Uh, we uh, did everything together. Celia Patterson, the mother of Rosalio Gutierrez, took the stand Monday. She spoke in front of the man accused of killing her only son. Text, phone calls, video chats. He would always keep in communication with me. It followed Kenosha officer Jeff Van Wee, who says he saw blood evidence in Rosalio Gutierrez's apartment. I walked inside the hallway and on apartment 1B, I saw dried red fluid stains all on the door itself and around the door. Much of Monday's testimony focused on blood stains and spatter. Investigators captured blood on the ceiling, door, and covering his living room. What sort of object causes um, that sort of blood spatter? It's either blunt force trauma or gunshots. Prosecutors believe Anderson drove to Gutierrez's apartment, killed him, and destroyed the evidence in May 2020. At the time, Gutierrez was dating Anderson's ex and the mother of his children. Nobody has found Gutierrez's body, but his blood saturated furniture. Officer, where was the largest concentration of blood you saw on this scene? On the living room floor. Is that in this picture? Yes, it is. Monday afternoon, Anderson's defense attorney pushed back against Van Wee's testimony and his bloodstained training. Besides that 40 hour course, um, what other specific training to bloodstain pattern analyses have you completed? I've read texts on my own as far as bloodstain pattern analysis goes, and I've experienced in the field working with bloodstain patterns. So how many courses have you taught that have just been about bloodstain pattern analysis? Uh, none. The jury also saw photographs from Anderson's property in Mequon, and on that property, investigators took pictures of a burn pit that had bleach and burned clothing. We're live right outside the Kenosha County Courthouse tonight. Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. Gruesome details indeed. All right, Aaron, thank you.